So yeah, rainy and windy night overnight, but now nice sunny skies. So very nice. <laughs> but it's getting colder. I feel the chill. Yeah, you can feel that colder sliding yeah. in on the back side of the system. So it's going to be a little bit of a seesaw over the next couple days. The sunshine comes back, the temperatures drop, then mm -hmm. they warm up, and then the rain comes back, and then there's more wind. So we do have still an active pattern to get through over the next couple days. It'll quiet down for at least Thanksgiving and Black Friday. It does look to ramp back up again for the weekend, and that may spell more travel troubles. Folks try to get home. So this is what it looks like right now. Of course, roads still very busy at this hour, even though a lot of folks maybe not coming home from work. They're just trying to get to where they want to be for Thanksgiving. Uh, this is a look just south of Nashville, so you're looking at Interstate 65. This is northbound lanes here. That's the Adventure Science Center. So this is folks uh, making that turn to go east closer to towards the interchange for the airport. So some slow go there. There's usually slow go there. Mid 50s. It's nice to see some sunshine. This is what radar looked like in the overnight hours as that very energetic uh, sort of complicated system literally held through the mid state last night. We had 40 to 50 mile per hour winds in the overnight hours. Thankfully, things have quieted down now. Now, the energy from that system is still bringing snow to parts of the Great Lakes. It's also bringing rain to parts of the East Coast, especially the Northeast. So there may still be some travel troubles as we head into the overnight and into the morning hours if you were traveling to either coast. Lots of wind energy still with this system as well. 40 mile per hour wind gusts up towards the Gulf Coast or up towards the Gulf Coast, up towards the Great Lakes, down towards the Gulf Coast. Things are quieter and the wind finally here is becoming quieter also. Still a little breezy across our Kentucky tier, 15 to 20, mile, 20 miles per hour. That will quiet down overnight tonight. Mild, or clear skies and a mild wind equals a cold night for us, especially behind a cold front. We're in the 50s right now and it ended up being a pretty comfortable afternoon once the wind died down. We're gonna tumble a good 20 degrees overnight tonight. So you will wake up near freezing tomorrow. A lot of folks may be trying to cook the bird outside in the grill. If you were going to be getting up early, there's going to be a little tingle to the air to get you started and tomorrow will be cooler. We won't make it into the 50s, only upper 40s. Only a 10% rain chance for Thanksgiving. It would mainly be in the late evening hours. And here's a sneak peek of your weekend because that may be the next most impactful thing for you. 80% rain chance on Saturday. That'll primarily be in the evening hours. That'll taper off. Uh, to 40% by Sunday morning, but then we'll keep some lingering showers around on Monday. We'll talk more about weekend impacts coming up at 5. Stay with us. Lots more on News Channel 5 at 4.